Greetings and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread devotional and scripture song broadcast for this 13th day of December and we are in the middle of another week and this topic today for the Baptist Bread is titled Freedom in Christ and you can be free indeed in Jesus if you trust him as your Lord and Savior and don't have to be under bondage anymore to sin and be having your sins washed away by his holy precious blood so I hope you'll call upon him today if you have not done so already if you are a born-again believer and are struggling with something, hopefully this broadcast and many others that you listen to will be a help and a blessing to you in some way. And praise the Lord for these men that write these devotionals um, from this uh, Baptist Bread book here. So, amen for them. Pray for their ministries and uh, their walk with the Lord. All right, so uh, freedom in Christ is a topic for the Baptist Bread. And we'll put that aside here. And... Uh, of course, as always, I'd like to greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And uh, like I said before, he can be your Lord and Savior, too, if he's not already. And hope you're having a good, uh, solid relationship with him and walk with the Lord. And uh, amen. All right, we're going to start with today's scripture song from Psalm 7115. And so let's go ahead and look at the entire psalm here and see who wrote it really quick before we get into the scripture song here so psalm 71 and see here all right so psalm 71 there is no um particular author author here but there is 24 um verses here so i encourage you to read that uh here let's see um read just some some of this um uh, it all looks looks uh good so let's go ahead and read the whole entire chapter because it's um uh, all about the lord so uh, let's read this here. I'll read it to you and you can follow along if you're able to. So it says, Psalm 71. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Amen. So hope you're putting your trust in the Lord and uh, praying that he would never put you into confusion. And verse 2, it says, Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thine ear unto me and save me. Be thou my strong habitation whereunto I may continually resort thou hast given commandment to save me for thou art my rock and my fortress deliver me O my God out of the hand of the wicked out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man for thou art my hope O Lord God thou art my trust from my youth by thee have I been holden up from the womb thou art uh, he that took me out of my mother's bowels, my praise shall be continually of thee. I am as a wonder unto many, but thou art my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the day. Cast me not off in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength faileth, for mine enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together saying, God hath forsaken him, persecute, and take him, for there is none to deliver him. O God, be not far from me. O my God, make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. But I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. My mouth shall shew forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day, for I know not the numbers thereof. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even to thine only, or excuse me, even of thine only. O God, thou hast taught me from my youth, and hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. Now also, when I am old and gray-headed, O God, forsake me not, until I have shewed thy strength unto thy unto this generation, and thy power to every one that is to come. Amen. Thy righteousness also, O God, is very high, who has done great things, O God, who is like unto thee. Thou was, uh, thou which hast shewed uh, me great and sore troubles, shalt quicken me again, and shalt bring me up again from the depths of the earth. Thou shalt increase my greatness, and comfort me on every side. I will also praise thee with the psaltery, even thy truth, O my God. Unto thee will I sing with the harp, O thou holy one of Israel. 
My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing unto thee, and my soul which thou hast redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long, for they are confounded, for they are brought unto shame that seek my hurt. Hmm. So, good words there, praising the Lord and all that. So, take heed of these words and let's praise him with our tongue all the day long. And amen, and talk of his righteousness and his holiness and keep it on the Lord. Amen. All right, so now we'll go ahead and sing the scripture song from uh, verse 15 of Psalm 71 with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. And then we'll do the VBS song afterwards. So here we go. M. Psalms 71, 15. My, my mouth, mouth shall show forth, forth thy righteousness, righteousness and thy salvation all the day. For I, I know, know not, not the numbers thereof. thereof. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day for i know not the numbers thereof i know not the numbers thereof my mouth shall show forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day for I know not the numbers thereof for I know not the numbers thereof all right so let's jump ahead to the VBS song for today as we're counting down from 10 to to one, and we did ten two days ago, and yesterday we did um, VBS song number nine, and now we're going to do VBS song number eight, which is books of the New Testament to the tune of Bring Them In. So let me get to this uh, VBS song here, and this one is uh, track number 39, I believe. So 39, and we'll press play and sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty again. <clears throat> Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st Timothy, 2nd Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st Peter, 2nd Peter, 3 John, Jude, and Revelation. That's right, those are the books of the New Testament, and we'll uh, put this back to yesterday's and do the scripture songs and VBS song again at the end of the broadcast. So let me just put this back here to the 12th, and get this back to the correct VBS uh, uh, scripture song. Put that aside now, and now we'll get into today's topic from the Baptist Bread, titled Freedom in Christ for this 13th day of December, Wednesday, and it says here in John 8, 36, If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Amen. And so let's uh, look at John 8 and get some context around this verse really quick. So John chapter 8, and go there. All right, so John 8, and verse 36. So let's see here, where do we need to go back up to? All right, let's go back up to verse 33. And uh, let's see here. Okay, so these, um, let's see. So this is uh, Jesus speaking, and I uh, encourage you to go back and read the entirety of this. But um, I believe these are the Pharisees uh, speaking to him. And trying to see where this starts here. Well, verse uh, 1. Um, talks about Jesus went up to the Mount of Olives and uh, he came to the temple and and all the people came unto him and he sat down and taught them and then we have this whole thing with the Pharisees and the scribes who brought this woman taken in adultery and all that happened and then uh, verse 12 uh, then spake Jesus again unto them and he was saying that I am the light of the world 
And he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And then the Pharisees um, were saying uh, unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself, thy record is not true, and trying to call him a liar. And he tells him what his record is true, because the Father says so, and all that. So um, that goes down to all the way to uh, verse uh, 32. And then, uh, and then it says here, um, in verse, let's see, I'm trying to find, so verse 31, it says, Then see, uh, said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Then verse 33 says, They answered him, We be of Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin, and the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth, for, uh, abideth ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. And then he goes on and continues on about, I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you, and so on and so forth. So... Uh, that's what's going on there. All right, so you can get a little context there. And again, I encourage you to read that on your own time. But for uh, time consumption, we uh, don't have time to get through all that there. But just a little bit of brief uh, outline there for you. Um, that he's going back and forth with the Pharisees because they don't believe him and, and are trying to uh, get him um, in a snare there. All right, so again, let's get into the topic here, freedom in Christ. And it says here in John 8, 36 again, If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. And today's author is K.M. That would be the initials for, uh, let's see, that's uh, Ken McComas. He's an evangelist from Ritman, Ohio. Amen. So it says here, as we start out, as he writes, he says, The most widespread and universal delusion among men is the notion that they are free. No man relishes the idea of being in bondage or slavery. By nature, he wants to be free. A very popular Western song of a few years ago expressed quite well this attitude of all people. It was entitled, Don't Fence Me In. <sighs> he says, I am sorry to discourage some folk with uh, deluded thinking by saying, there are no free men, he writes in big bold letters. Uh, the search for freedom has brought wars, suffering, poverty, imprisonment, bondage, and slavery to multitudes of people. That's the truth. Uh, no man in the physical realm has been completely emancipated. The man who holds the highest office of the most powerful nation on earth is bound by countless fetters. Paul told the Roman chief captain that he was born free and that's acts 22 uh, he meant that in a very limited sense he was born a roman citizen and was entitled to all roman liberties paul however like you and me was born into chains for centuries that mysterious force known as uh, hereditary uh, heredity uh, had been silently and invisibly but deliberately preparing bonds for paul he was bound in body, soul, and spirit. Every person uh, born into the world comes into a carefully woven net which the ages have been weaving for him. The net is woven of race, uh, predisp uh, predisposition, habit, family tradition, religious customs, and just plain sin. Mm. Why not stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. Galatians 5 1, so that's the question there at the end. So why not stand fast there for in the liberty where with Christ had made us free? So let's stand in uh, stand fast in that liberty. Amen. And uh, again, freedom in Christ. And if you have the Son, you're made free, and you shall be free indeed. Hallelujah. So let's remember we're free in Christ Jesus. All right, and a uh, good little topic there from the Baptist bread. So let's praise the Lord for that, being made free when you trust Jesus, your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. 
All right, so there is no devotional for today uh, from the Daily Strength Volume 1 book by Douglas D. Stauffer and Andrew B. Ray. So I'll read you the passage and then we'll jump into some uh, more Fight On stories from the More Fight On Stories book. So today is Wednesday, day 312, church night. And this is continuing on the topic of submission. And it says here in 1 Peter 2.13, Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme, and so on and so forth. And so, all right. And again, we tend to have a problem with submitting to people and even to the Lord himself. So let's be uh, learning to be more submissive. Amen. All right. So that is the passage there. And we'll give you the topic for tomorrow here in a few minutes. But now it's time to get into the more fight on stories book here by Sam Gipp and this is the second volume of these two books here and we'll start off here in page 50 and we have this quote here from a dive bomber pilot from the Enterprise World War II and he says here I heard pilots express the opinion that the admirals looked upon the flyers as expendable and I suppose they must uh, to a certain extent but I shall never again feel that they wouldn't do everything conceivable in their power to bring a pilot back. It was de a demonstration I shall never forget. A dive bomber, bomber pilot from the Enterprise during World War II. Well, now let's get into the first story here, titled Light Up the Night. It says here, um, the final airstrike of the Pacific's um, Mar uh, Mar Mar Marianas a campaign of World War II had launched uh, late in the day. This meant that the battle uh, weary flyers would be returning to their aircraft carriers in the dark. The pilots, low on fuel, would have to somehow locate their motherships in the inky Pacific darkness while the, uh, those same ships cruised on in blackout conditions. This was to prevent becoming the target of a prowling Japanese submarine as the wandering pilots chattered among themselves in the blackness, unable to find their ships and contemplating the hopelessness of surviving a nighttime ditching in the rough Pacific water, Vice Admiral Mark A. Uh, Mitscher, M-I-T-S-H-E-R, Mitscher, made a benevolent but dangerous decision. He ordered all of the aircraft carriers to turn on their lights. Oh, it is a dangerous decision. Before the bewildered pilot's eyes, the pitch blackness came alive in light. Suddenly, ships appeared where only blackness had been. Star shells fired from destroyers attracted many flyers' attentions, or attention. Searchlights guided them to the carriers, and there were those beautiful red lights marking the flight decks. <clears throat> there were even individual sailors shining flashlights into the night, anything to help the helpless flyers come home. And home they came. Plane after plane roared out of the darkness to be grabbed from the air and then be quickly pushed aside and parked. The pilots would never forget how they were not abandoned by the fleet. Fight on. Oh, praise the Lord. All right, so that's the end of the first story. The second story is on page 52, and it's titled Treachery Never Pays. During the uh, Aragon, A-R-G-O-N-N-E, Aragon Offensive of September 1918, Lieutenant Dwight uh, Schaffner of the U.S. Army had crawled out and silenced a German machine gun nest with his pistol. <laughs> uh, in his absence, a group of German soldiers approached his platoon with their hands raising, raised, calling out, uh, comrade, the uh, battle-weary doughboys welcomed the surrender and joyously strode out to receive the surrendering soldiers' weapons. It was a trick. Suddenly, other Germans in hiding opened fire, devastating the exposed Americans. Lieutenant Sch uh, Schaffner saw the treachery from the machine gun uh, position he'd just taken, enraged by the deceit. Schaffner charged the Germans with his pistol and hand grenades. His pistol empty, 
He took it by the barrel and beat several Germans to death with the butt. Uh, the remaining Germans retreated. Schaffner's indignation had saved his men. Fight on. And now the final story, titled A One Night Stand. During the Boxer Rebellion of China in 1900, numerous foreigners were butchered by the Buddhist Patriotic League of Boxers. These radicals, driven by hatred and racism, surrounded the legations of foreign powers and attempted to overrun them and kill all within until a relief force made up of troops from Japan, Russia, England, Germany, France, Austria, Italy, and the United States could relieve them. The meager guard force would have to hold out alone. On July 14, one month before the relief force arrived, Private Daniel uh, Daly provided a little relief of his own. On that day, the boxers had breached the flimsy barricade and were in da uh, danger of overrunning the American legation uh, to give the haggard defenders time to repair their defenses. Private Daly crawled out on top of the Tartar wall. Uh, there alone, far from support or rescue, he fired on the boxers, killing many of the immortals outright. All night long, his fire held the boxers back while the barricade was being repaired. It was dark, and Private Daly was too preoccupied to see several boxers quietly scaling the wall. Suddenly, they leaped to their feet and uh, wielding swords charged the lone marine, screaming, Shah! Shah! Kill! Kill! With no time to chamber a round, Daly used both his bayonet and rifle butt to clear the wall of intruders. By morning, the breached barricade was repaired, the legation was saved, and the ground beneath Private Daly was littered with the bodies of the immortal boxers. Daly uh, won the Medal of Honor, one of two he was to be awarded fight on amen so that's the end of the third story there and so next time we have this uh passage here from jeremiah 38 79 and let's see how many stories we can do we'll do two stories next time so the first story is titled black brave and stubborn and then this uh, second story is titled an icy tomb so those would be the two stories that uh, we cover next time, and speaking of these boxers, um, it reminded me of this book that I have here. Let me see if I can pull it out here uh, really quick. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can grab it here. This book Brother James gave to me uh, during my graduation gift, and this is a really good book, and it talks about most of these early stories. It's uh, titled By Their Blood, and it's Christian Martyrs of the 20th Century, and a lot of the first stories here talk about the boxers and how they persecuted uh missionaries here so um good book there by their by their blood so and uh brother james gave that to me as a graduation gift when i graduated from the deland school of the bible back in 2018 so praise the lord it was a good book there so if you have a chance to get a copy of that i encourage you to do so and uh, i'll read you the back of it here it says uh christian martyrs the words uh, stir the imagination a saint singing above flames that uh, crackle around his stake a believer kneeling sincere uh, serenely before a blood-stained block but burning at the stake passed out of style after reformation times death by the sword rarely occurs today martyrs of the 20th century have met their earthly end by more uh, con uh, contra virtual up-to-date methods such as gunshots bombs uh, banditry uh, deliberating prison diseases and starvation but more than the stories of christian missionaries and believers who have suffered for their faith this book gives a profound testimony to the building of christian or christ church uh, even in the face of persecution and hardship so amen all right and that's the title of that book so put that aside now, and we'll get into the hymns, or the hymn for today. Only one hymn today, so let me grab that and the book here. 
So this hymn is hymn 588 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. And this is the first one on uh, these first, uh, there's only two of these titled, uh, of these uh, hymns here. The Patient of Patience of the Saint, a Spiritual Song. And this first one is titled Perfection Here Below for Today. And this is written by William uh, Dossie. And he lived from 1780 to 1853. And then Samuel S. Wesley, 1810 to 1876. So, no story for this one. So, find the instrumental here and let you listen to it really quick. And we'll see if it's easy to sing along with. If not, I'll just read you the stanzas here. So, let me press play. And we'll get started. All right. Doesn't sound too challenging, so I'll try it. Perfection here below. Let men say what they please is not to be attained unto, except in small degrees. to this hymn so stanza one we have um, Ecclesiastes 7:20 and Colossians 1:10 stanza two is John 14:15 and Romans 8:23 stanza three is Isaiah 66 2 and first Peter 5 5 and stanza four is James 1 3 through 4 so that is the hymn for today so let me grab the bookmarker here and Put that aside for the moment, and I'll grab the, slide that over there. All right, so now we'll go ahead and do the scripture songs again, and the VBS song, and then we'll wrap it up after that. So yesterday's scripture song was from 1 John uh, 2.15, and this was the letter L. So let me press play, and we'll sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty L. again. 1 John 2.15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. 
All right, now we'll do today's again. M. Psalms 71, 15. My, My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness, righteousness and thy salvation, salvation all the day, for I know, I know not, not the numbers thereof. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day. I know not the numbers thereof, for I know not the numbers thereof. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness, and thy shall salvation all the day, for I know not the numbers thereof, for I know not the numbers thereof. All right, now let's go to the BBS song again, and then we'll do today's one more time. So we are counting down from 10 to 1, and we are on um, BBS song number 8 today, and books of the New Testament to the tune of Bring Them In. So let me go ahead here to this one, and then we'll go back to today's one more time. So this was track number 39. All right, so here we go. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st Timothy, 2nd Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st Peter, 2nd Peter, 3 John, Jude, and Revelation. Hey man, I just made up that part there, the one-two thing, so, a little participation, hey amen. <laughs> Alright, so let's go back to today's one more time, and then we'll wrap it up after that. Okay, let's see, today is the 13th, can you believe we're already on the 13th day of December? Alright, so, today is again Psalm 71, 15, the letter M. And we'll do this one more time, and then... Psalms 71, 15. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness, and thy salvation all the day, for I know not the numbers thereof. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness, and thy salvation all the day. For I know not the numbers thereof, for I know not the numbers thereof. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness, and thy salvation all the day, for I know not the numbers thereof, for I know not the numbers thereof. All right, although it never says who the writer was for this particular one, it probably was David, uh, most likely, because he wrote most of these psalms here, so uh, especially the early ones. All right, so. That is it for today's broadcast, but before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song, and then the VBS song for tomorrow, and then the topics for the Baptist Bread and Daily Strength books, and then the hymns, and uh, so tomorrow is the 14th, and Romans 8.37 is the scripture song, and this is the letter N, it says, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Hallelujah for that. So we are more than conquerors. Him that loved us. And that's uh, the scripture song. And then the VBS song, I almost forgot. So, tomorrow's VBS song will be... Let me get to it. So, we did the new books of the New Testament. So, tomorrow is uh, VBS song number 7. 
as we continue to count down to number one. And this is books of the Old Testament to the tune of Bring Them In. And Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, uh, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi, or Malachi, <laughs> Malachi. All right, so those are the, all the books of the Old Testament, and that'll be Bibia song number seven for tomorrow. So, amen. And then the Baptist bread uh, for tomorrow will be titled, A Look at the Master, the Brotherhood. So, another one of these uh, topics on the look of the Master. And uh, if you missed any of these, I will um, go through them tomorrow on the dates that the other ones were um, uh, were taught on. So, um, this one's the Brotherhood. And we have Matthew uh, 23, 8. As the scripture verse, and then the author, of course, is Brother Tim Green from Revival in Our Times, Day Heights, Ohio, and he's the one that edits the Baptist bread. So praise the Lord. So that'll be tomorrow's Baptist bread topic. And then the Daily Strength uh, book here. Tomorrow, as we're continuing through this topic of submission, tomorrow is day 313, Thursday, and it's titled Submit Yourselves Unto God. And we have James 4, 7 is the passage there. And then the hymn from the book is titled, In All My Lord's Appointed Ways. So, not too familiar with this one. So, we'll, excuse me, learn this one tomorrow. And that one will be the second uh, hymn there. And then the first hymn will be titled, uh, As Thy Days Thy Strength Shall Be. And this is hymn 589 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. Another one of these, The Patient of the Saint Hymns, and not too familiar with this one either. And there's seven stanzas to this one, and there is a story to this one, so amen. All right, like when there's stories to these hymns, and so we'll do that tomorrow. And this is the book here, the hymn book, if you don't have a copy, or if you know someone who doesn't have a copy, you can always buy it for them as a gift. Uh, so amen, good hymnal to have there. And it's got almost 1,000 hymns in it. So, amen, many that we know and many that we don't know, but we'll know eventually when we get to them. So that book, and then the Daily Strength Volume 1 book, there's uh, the cover there, and there's four volumes to this series of devotional books and another uh, good set of books to have. And those are all available on MelodyPublications.com is the website there. And then we got the More Fight On uh, book uh, here by Sam Gipp. And this is more amazing stories about those who have persevered through hardship and danger. And this one and the first one can be found on um, daystarpublishing.com. Uh, and this is, has all of Brother Gipp's books on there, all the books he's written. He's written quite a few, so check those out on that uh, website there. And then the Scripture Song uh, book and CDs are available online at www dot daily scripture songs dot com that's the website you can get the scripture song book you should still have it available and then the cds you can contact brother dean running about that to how to get those and uh that website is uh daily scripture songs dot com website there and there are missionaries uh, brother dean and sister patty runyon missionaries to port kaituma guyana so pray for them and uh his health there so and uh that's that information uh, so put that aside there and then the baptist bread book this is the cover from last month and this month so if you order now you'll get the one for january and february of 2024 and that's available to order get a subscription going by going to baptistbread.com or www.timgreenministries.org and that second website has other books available if you want to check those out and then the bible the king james bible this is the word of god the in the English language, and this is the book we need to be getting into first and foremost, and reading it, and studying it, and seeking God's face, and um, rightly dividing His Word, so we know how to understand it better, and uh, have a better relationship with the Lord, amen, so that's the Bible there, and again, this book that I was talking about here, um, since um, one of the stories from the um, 
Fight On book was mentioning the boxers here. So this book here, um, By Their Blood, um, Christian Martyrs of the 20th Century, and a lot of these early stories talk about uh, these boxers here that uh, persecuted uh, Christians back in that time. So, And it's a pretty thick book, but it's got a lot of good stories in there about different uh, Christian martyrs. And uh, so, amen. All right. And that's by James and Marty uh, Hefley. So those are the authors there of this book. And then they made a they made a second one uh, that uh, takes place from... Uh, this one only goes to, like, year, I think, 1990 or something like that. But the second book goes from uh, year 2000 to, like, 2017 or something like that. So there's a second book to this. All right, so that's that information and you can find that on the internet somewhere all right so that's it for today so um before i go um let me let you tell you about the uh, way you can find out uh to give this uh broadcast to those that don't have facebook they can go to ambassador for christ broadcasting and look me up that way on the youtube channel or type in baptist bread broadcast and um like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so amen all right well that's it for today so thanks for watching and may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye-bye for now.